Hello guys, and welcome to episode 42 of my Empire Total War campaign, playing as Prussia, going for world domination. Today, we are going to be taking on the French. They have delved deep into our lands with a couple of armies, and we are going to attack them, I think. We're going to take the bait, we're going to move out of Cologne, and we're going to take them out. So let's move out Friedman Ettinghausen and engage Rodrigue Bonner. So they aren't actually going to be reinforced by this other army. I thought they would be in range, but apparently not, which is actually a good thing for us because it means that the other army nearby can deal with that army before moving to Stuttgart. So, yeah, this is great. Uh, let's jump on in. It looks like the order resolve says it's going to not be in our favour, but I'm pretty sure we can make it in our favour. We have more cannons than they do, I believe. Although I think one of my cannons would be stationary. Yeah, we do have one demi cannon, which is not ideal because I'm not really going to be able to get much use out of them. All right, well, we'll put them straight in the middle, I think, as long as there's no blocking terrain. Like There are other trees there, but that should be fine. So we'll pop them here. Unlimbered. And then I'll have my other cannons probably nearer the flanks. I'm just going to decide exactly where I want them. I think putting some here would be fine. I'm going to start them unlimbered. Because we'll likely be in range of them from the start. This unit actually only has two cannons. Oh no, it has three. Okay, good. All right, and every other infantry unit just needs to move out the way, and then we'll fill up the gaps. Okay. I'm just going to put them in a group temporarily so I know which ones are where. That's not straight. There we go, that's better. Good. This unit can go on the right. I think that's it. Just our cav now. General can spread out back here. And my cav units can also spread out further back. I do have one spare unit. Ah, let's just keep them in the middle. They can be our reserve. I right, send the deployment. So first things first, uh, we're going to want to focus down the opposing cannons. Most likely with our own cannons. And then... Nice, we already took out one of their cannons. Uh, and then we're going to want them to come towards us. Oh, they already are coming towards us. Interesting. Okay. That's fine. Ish, <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, I can probably square formation this on the flank, just in case. And what we'll do with these guys, we're going to stop them firing. Turn them to canister. Be ready, lads. Okay, left flank's probably weaker, so we're going to start marching our troops over there. I'm also going to swing my cab over there. This is going to be a nasty, nasty engagement, guys. It really is. I should manually fire these so they get better hits in. So 
So they made actually a really big mistake by charging us because now we get the canister advantage. But you can see that my front line is taking a beating. Alright, see if we can get... Oh, lovely. Raking the entire line there. That's big. Big hits. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is we'll probably charge... Actually, let's just charge them in the cav. Big losses across the front for me. Ooh, ouch. Okay, let's pull my cab out of there. We'll let my cab kind of go around and flank onto the cannons, I think. I'm going to start moving up on this right hand side as well for the cannons. Okay, good. So these boys can stand next to the cannon, these guys can spread out like so, and we're of course going to go charge the cannons now. Okay, I'm going to grab all of these, we're going to stop them firing, we're going to turn into round shot and we're going to hit those horses. Getting picked off a little bit there by the line of the tree. I just need them to break. I think my cab's gonna rout. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Absolute cowards. Hit multiple of them there. That's good. That was a very traditional line battle. <laughs> I tell you that much. That was kind of crazy. Very, very traditional head on line battle. Gross. That is, that is not what you want, usually, to happen. <laughs> that is like worst case scenario <laughs> for the most part. Because both sides just take so many losses when that happens. Ideally, I was hoping that they would stand their ground and I'd be able to kind of hit their flank. And kind of take it slow, right? And and slowly chip away at them. But I think because we killed one of their cannons really early on, it made the AI come towards us. And that really messed us up. Kind of crazy. I 
My calf did recover. Just before getting off the edge there. I'm gonna go charge back into that cannon crew. Currently my cannons are trying to kill these lot. Gotta be a little bit careful not to friendly fire. Okay, they broke. And that's army losses. Yeah, I'm gonna end it there. It says heroic victory. Really? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> that was rough. How many kills? The Demi Cannon's got 201. 12 pounder got 142. Yeah. That was rough. I mean, got experience, sure, but... Damn. That was costly. Okay. Well, I'm just hoping that... We have enough dudes here now to defend against Spain, because I feel like Spain might try and jump us now. Alright, so I guess the main thing here then is to not worry about Stuttgart, just clean up these armies. I can finish off this slot so they're not deep in our lands, and then we can probably just... Yeah, we can go and attack this army straight afterwards, finish them off, and then move down to Stuttgart in the next turn. I am tempted to replenish those. I don't think we need replenishment elsewhere, do we? Yeah. There's a new English cavalry force landing. <laughs> I love that that's just cavalry and cannons. Like, seriously? I'm going to move up to Delgava because I think we can probably beat this with those infantry squads. Just double checking the fleets there because if we had maybe one more fourth rate I'd be tempted to try and win that sea battle. A bomb catch? It is. Cool. Bomb catches are interesting because they are very hit and miss. If they hit, then they do a ton of damage. But if they miss, then they're useless. Like, they don't fire very quickly, so they've got to hit the few shots that they take. Otherwise, they're just really bad. Oh. I mean, I guess what I could do is just bring every single unit of infantry there, plus the... Uh, Plus the leader. We just move all of this into Dilgava. Okay. This is alright, I think. We'll take this. Let's go. The main thing is like square formations, obviously, and to make sure that I'm getting good shots onto the line of tree in between. This could be quite difficult. I need to basically line up this one opposite their line infantry unit. Uh, we could actually fall back quite a ways. Because we're technically defending. If we kind of chill over here, then their cannons won't really be able to do much. Initially. Yeah, I think... The center for the center unit is going to be lined like that. We can have these kind of chill in between. It's going to be really difficult. 
Because I think they are going to try and flank me. And that's a lot of cav. They have probably as much cav as we have infantry. This is tough. If they attack us one by one, we'll be okay. Oh, that's the cannon firing at my general. They come in all at once. Uh, it might be a little bit screwed. I mean, maybe what might happen is... Um, they might shoot their own dudes. That would be good. I'm going to take them out of that formation and we're going to let them shoot the cab as well. That one unit in the square formation there did absolutely fantastically. Shots coming in here are pretty good for us. I've just got to be kind of careful of my general. But as long as we keep overwhelming each unit here, we're all good. So there's two... I've only got one horse and one line of tree left after this, plus the cannons. Oh, that was close. I'm turning them that way because the cannons were so close to just ripping that entire line. It's a shame there's no like ammo because otherwise I'd be able to kind of like wait this out, but I have a feeling that this is going to get ugly. We're going to have to spread out massively. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I want to go about this. I think it's going to be very difficult. Technically, I could come through the trees, maybe. I'm gonna stop these. We'll be ready to engage that cab unit as it comes back. Let's give my men time to reload anyway. destroyed. Nice. Very good. Very good men. Very good. Okay, if they are actually fully dead, then they might send the last unit, which would be good. I'm just going to have these run into position. I guess technically the other thing I could do is maybe like fall back I know where I could go 
like over to the other side of the map and then make them have to relimber and then run back towards them but I think they'd have time to unlimber and turn around the cannons and shoot us so I'm a little you know apprehensive about doing that I think just these cannons are just irritating right now because there's no real way for me to win this I don't think they just stand there shooting us. As soon as I get in canister range, I'm dead. Because I have to be forced into melee, and then they're going to win in the melee. Probably. Unless I somehow... am able to engage them with my guns and shoot them before I engage the line infantry. This is going to be gross. I'm leaving that one there at the moment because it's, one, it's being focused by two of the cannons. Yeah, I think best bet might be just to run at them. Get into gun, get into gun range. Musket range. And... Uh, Give it a good go. Am I going to be in range? Ah, uh, that's not what I want. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> right, shoot those. Please shoot quickly. Should have reloaded before I did this. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. <laughs> it's so bad. My men mostly missed there as well. Oh, it's tragic. I could force melee here, but I don't know if it's the, the play. I don't know if it's the play. I really don't. Alright, that's one set of cannons dealt with. guys you can do it again god this is actually ridiculous right now it really is this is so close all right we made them run I guess if we can get like clean shots onto this unit without it charging us, then we're okay. Because I can outgun the, the line infantry after that. That's absolutely fine. Just don't let them... I've just got to like not let them engage me in melee. I guess if technically if they do, it's not the end of the world. I've really got to just shoot the calf. Oh, 
Alright, oh, they're running. Okay, good. Kill these guys now. Which way are they facing? <laughs> I'm just trying to get out of their range. <laughs> Okay. The cannons have come back. I'm just gonna melee them with one of the crew, or with one of the uh, line of tree here. It will get to a point where I think we can charge them. Right, we killed every single man there. Okay, now's the time. Go, 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 get him. We're going to continue, of course. We're going to run him down. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Thankfully, a lot of these guys are going to replenish soon. Um, probably not full strength now because of this battle, but it's okay. They'll be close enough. Oh, that was oh, that was very precarious, especially when I was standing there taking the cannons to the face. But I feel like if I commit to the melee too soon, it would have been bad for me. I'm better off using our gun advantage kill the crews and then kill the infantry and I think it worked out well because yeah if I sort of charge everything in there to engage the cannon crews and then the infantry gets involved I'm I'm dead like man to man like yes the Prussian infantry is strong and we have a lot of ranks on these men but I feel like with the full unit of infantry plus a cav unit they're gonna have the morale bonus Right, we'll leave it there for the close victory. It's a bit of a pain that they went that far because they could go and attack St. Petersburg. Ah, oh, that's not good actually. I don't know if building that there's worth it because they'll probably just take it next turn anyway. Ah, oh, it's a pain. Alright, well, I think we put the money into this then. Just get as many of them back on their feet as we can. I'm not going to care about the demi cannons. I might actually get rid of the demi cannons eventually. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is attack the French again. We got to take out this army. I am going to play it out, because I don't want to lose too many men. Do an order resolve. I feel like an order resolve would probably kill like 50 men. We might be able to do this without any losses. If we... Uh, I don't know, I say that. Probably take like one volley from the militia. But I'm pretty sure they have to come to me, so... We can probably just... I'm going to have the cannons back here. gonna let them charge me? I think I am. They're gonna kill anyone. <laughs> nope. <laughs> 
Man's fine. <laughs> Keep shooting that gendarmerie. Gonna bring my Pandora's over there as well. I mean, I might be able to use, use these to shoot the militia. And also, I don't really mind too much if these uh, Hopefully that just kills that unit. Yep. Took two losses. Gonna bring the cannons. And then we go. Alright, let's go. So this has been, so far, Pretty good succession of attacks where we've taken out the big French army, we've taken out the smaller French army now, we've taken out the English invasion more or less, although I think they'll take St. Petersburg, which will be annoying. But we can we can chase them down. Here we're just gonna do a similar thing. Are we we actually have some nice high ground, so we'll go ahead and pop our cannons up here. And I'll have a unit chill in the middle, and the others can be on the flanks. I'm going to move this one down a little bit. We'll put this one here to fire over the top. Right, we're just going to plant all our shots into their artillery at the start. Mm. Alright. Let's move my general to the side. Get my cab out of the way. Good. Took out one already. Very nice. So I specifically right clicked in front of the cannon here. So that's where they aim. Rather than trying to like hit the crew or the units behind and firing over the top. But it looks like they are forced to come towards us now already, which is good. Oh, these guys here. <laughs> these are braver men than I. <laughs> Seeing those cannons fire right in your face. They weren't even aimed at them.
when we hit the crew nicely there, let's just stop these firing. We're going to go canister. We're going to get ready with the close range engagement. Not entirely sure what to do with my pandas. Might run them out to the flank. Let's reorganize this unit. And we did lose a cannon ourselves, actually. Alright, we can fire now. I don't think they have fire by rank, so yeah, we we still have an advantage in that. I don't know. I, th I could have sworn they did before, because we were taking a lot of damage in our engagements. But maybe not. Alright, with 2v1 on that side, the 2v1 on the right side already won. I'm going to charge those Shindamli and we'll shoot them with the Pandors. Not a fan of this unit, like engaging that line like that. Unnecessary. Taking too many losses.
Good. <laughs> I was gonna say, if they don't break now, like that's... <laughs> that's gonna be crazy. Okay, so they have one extra unit of line of tree here. Which we're gonna have to advance on. Let's grab my infantry. Let's get up there. We'll bring my pandas. Kinda risky for my general to be here when they still have cannons. I'm gonna have them run ahead. I can have them probably kill the cannon crew for us. Clean line of sight from there, so we'll just line up like so. Take the shots, kill that cannon crew, and then we just need to surround and kill off these guys. I could probably pepper them from a distance with the irregulars as well. The cab has come back. All these units hold their ground. Surely, these can do better than that. Alright, well, Cav can do it then. Screw it. Good. They are goners. Up all of these. I'm probably just going to want to charge these after they volley. Do they have fire by rank? No. I think so. It's going to be a lovely brush. Perfectly timed. Still managed to lose 10 cav there, but... Oh well. Got the job done. Nice and quick. Oh, they still have that unit there. 
Interesting. Oh, it might have been these boys firing into them. <laughs> they ran away. <laughs> They're like, oh, we don't want no part of this. <laughs> well, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> You're going down. Very good. Very, very, very good. Lovely battle. Two hundred and thirty-five lost. Yeah, not too bad. Push them back across the river. And now what we're gonna do is we will head down towards Stuttgart next turn. I don't know if it's worth fixing those up at the moment. We got the corporal in gold braid. Very nice. Study under fire, extra morale and battle from that, very nice. And also, another study under fire. Unless that was for this guy. Yeah, that guy might have got study under fire as well. <laughs> Look at this. That's crazy. He's got some really good traits. Good old Matthias May. Alrighty, um, well, unfortunately guys, it has been my time. I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we will have a look around the rest of our lands and see what else needs to be done. Uh, otherwise, we'll just be moving on to the next turn. Now, we've done a, we dealt a massive blow to the French armies in this episode. They have one large army at Strasbourg. They probably have one in Paris as well. And then that'll probably be it from France. Yeah, interesting. All right, well, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Okay,